Um, let's see, what else? What other questions? You guys have any questions yet? Come on. How long did it take to train? How long did it take to train? You know, it takes it takes a couple of years to go from a dog with no training up to the certification levels that we like to have, but it's a never-ending battle. Anybody here that trains dogs knows that. It's kind of like algebra. You know, you can learn it and be good at it as a sophomore in high school, but if you uh, don't do it by senior year, you completely forget it again. So, kind of like some old, I know. Um, I know that feeling. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, it takes a, usually a couple of years, sometimes longer, sometimes shorter, depending on the dog, but we like to say a couple of years to get them up to par. Um, we do all of our own training, too. Um, the dogs don't go away before we get them. Um, all the dogs are certified for the Maine Criminal Justice Academy, um, or further. Um, but we do all of our own in-house training at least twice a month to meet and, and do all that stuff ourselves. So that's kind of fun. Any other questions? How do I keep him cool in the truck? Good question. A lot of people look at me really funny when I like walk, run into a store or something and it's 900 degrees out and my dog's in the truck and the windows are all shut. Um, the truck obviously is running <laughs> and the air conditioner is on. This tru the truck is also equipped with a state-of-the-art heat alarm pro. Uh, what that does, it's a, it's a heat alarm. It monitors the truck's temperature in two different locations, averages them. lights and siren on is an SOS pattern um, wow. for the dog. It'll also do it if it gets too cold and it'll even start itself if the voltage drops. So if, you're, uh, if your truck battery is about to die, it'll, it knows that and it'll start itself and run it for 20 minutes so it stays cool. So it's got about as much protection for the dog in it as possible. So uh, I always get a few people look at me every year like, hey, what are you doing? So, but I take them over and show them the alarm and usually they're pretty impressed. Good question. Any other questions? Yes? What items do we use to help track, uh, to have the dog track somebody? Well, what we do is we start out doing puppy tracks when we're training the dogs. So I'll do a really short 15-foot runaway where you would tease the dog with a ball, run away and stop, and then I tell him to track. And he can see you, so it's fun. Uh, we'll, we'll lengthen out a little bit. We'll put hot dogs or treats or something in the footprint to get the dog's nose down, to teach him to put his nose down to track. That's what we want when we're tracking. We'll just keep lengthening that out a little bit. It takes a long time, but uh, eventually they'll get to where they need to be. Our certification standard is a half a mile long, a half an hour old, uh, with three different types of surfaces and at least two 90 degree corners, so with no boundaries. Right, yeah, we, we don't have to have an item, it's preferred, called, we call it a scent article. So if we were doing a track, we'd grab somebody's shirt or a pillowcase or something like that with their scent on it to give the dog an idea of who we're looking for. Um, and these dogs are trained in discrimination tracks too. We'll start three people, give them a scent article, and they have to pick the right one. So, any other questions? Well, how many years can they work? It's up to the dog, as long as they're physically able to do their job and not be in any pain or anything like that, we'll work them as long as we can. So we've got one dog that's 12, that's still doing a good job. So her replacement is here and, and certified, but she still gets to go to work too. So. Yeah, sounds cool. You guys want to see Sid go to work? Yeah! Yeah? <laughs> it's going to be entertaining with all these dogs around. So, uh, I may actually put him on a long lead just so we don't have any dog fights. Sig's a lover, not a fighter, but some other dogs may not like him licking their face. So, um, what I did when I walked up, some of you may have saw, I threw out a shell casing. That was fired about a week ago. Uh, it's a brass rifle casing. And as Sig's, part of Sig's uh, workload is evidence, as I said, when he finds it, he should lay down with it right in front of him, right between his two paws. No problem. So,
No, it was fun.